Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mega Man 9. I am Rufo, playing this game for you. Woo! Last time we defeated Splash Whitman and Concrete Man. So if we were to follow a oh, weakness order, we'd go to Galaxy Man. But, uh... There's a weapon. I, there's some weaponry I don't want to leave behind. Should be the weaponry belonging to Magma Man and Hornet Man. And uh, if we follow weakness order, these are going to be the last two stages we play. Now, these this weaponry is too useful for that. However, the concrete shot. Should help us to get to get through Magma Man stage. Because when the projectile lands, it creates a platform. The stage has a lot of uh, long reaching jumps. Concrete shot can also freeze these magma beams. Which are instant death. In addition to being obscenely loud. The drawback of the concrete shot is that uh, enemies defeated with it don't tend to not leave power ups. Because they're turned into a block of concrete. Noise makers. Well done, me. We have the Magma Bazooka, which is a very nice and powerful weapon. It's a, it's a shotgun, basically. And of course, like all video game shotguns, the closer we are, we are when we fire it, the more effective it is. 
Now, uh, but now that we have fire, let's go and deal with some hornets. That is how you deal with hornets. Kill them with fire. So that being said, let us remember this is Hornet Man, not Bumblebee Man. This place looks like it would be, uh, getting pollinated by bumblebees and all that, but, um, or honeybees, what have you. No, he's described as being a hornet. Nobody likes hornets. Kind of the major reason to want the magma bazooka. But also against bosses, if you hit if you hit the uh, boss with all three shots, shots right away, they take damage from all three of them. So it really helps for uh, powering through bosses. And since the Hornet Chaser is, uh, weakness of Splash Woman, that kind of puts us back onto, uh, weakness order. Which we'll deal- continue with next time. See you then!